Hey there, you're watching Wildflower Video Tips. I'm Lindsay Moe. Today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly move your footage around in your timeline in Adobe Premiere Pro. If you're editing recipe videos, you probably have a lot of different clips you're moving around in your timeline. I have a couple tricks I'm excited to share with you today about how to quickly and easily move them around so you can get them exactly where you want without taking a ton of time. Let's dive in. There are a couple ways that I like to quickly move footage around in my timeline. You can see here I started editing and then there's a big jump. There are more clips that I want to add between stirring these onions and mushrooms and stirring it on the pan. So what I'm going to do is press A to choose the track select forward tool, and I'm just going to move it forward to the right. The nice thing about the track select forward tool is it will move everything to the right that you grab, whereas if you just pressed V, it would move a single track. You can see the selection tool moves one track and A moves all the tracks. This helps make sure that you don't overwrite any footage, which would be a huge pain. And then I can go ahead and add my other clip. If I moved this over and I wanted to close up this gap here, I can press Control, click, ripple delete, and it will move it over quickly rather than having to grab it and drag it over. You can also use ripple delete with whole clips. If you press control click, it's up here in the top menu and it will quickly delete it and erase any gap that would have been there. Another thing I like to do is use these little icons in the source monitor to quickly drag my footage over. And you can also drag just the audio. If you grab from the video, you can grab both the video and the audio. And I just have A1 deselected here, but it would work no matter what. You can also press period from the source monitor to quickly place your footage. And again, use control, click, ripple, delete, or A if you prefer to move it that way. That's it. I really think these tips are going to help improve your workflow. Definitely let me know if you try it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I will be back next Tuesday with another tip. See ya!